BRL is a, I think a really interesting and important centre in the UK. It's worth noting that when the Science Minister uh, commissioned a, a new robotic strategy for the UK, he said that the reason he'd done it was BRL had shown him that robotics was exciting and needed further backing from the government. Well, Bristol Robotics Laboratory is um, probably uh, the largest facility of its type in the UK. Uh, modern robotics uh, uh, requires a mixture of many, many different disciplines. So the usual suspects, of course, your electronics engineers, your mechanical engineers, but we also have to engage and embrace the technologies and the expertise of uh, computer scientists, psychologists, uh, biologists, microbiologists too. So there are many disciplines that have to come together in order to uh, forge uh, uh, n uh, uh, new and innovative uh, 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 technologies. So this is a, what we call a snake arm robot. Um, we're a Bristol based company um, up in Filton uh, and we're OC Robotics. So this technology is designed to get into confined or hazardous spaces. Um, unlike some of the larger industrial robots that you've seen here today, um, it doesn't have any prominent elbows. It's the same diameter along its length so it can get through small gaps um, and it's very flexible to be able to bend around tight spaces. And there's, a, there's a lot of cutting edge development going on uh, and Bristol and the southwest particularly um, is very strong. Um, I think the UK as a whole is, is really well placed internationally and um, we talk to, to many people uh, from abroad um, places like Fukushima and Japan for example and they're coming over here to talk to us about our tech getting in over there. So. Um, I think the UK and the South West is, is very well placed. One thing I think is really quite clear is that we're going to get robots working with people. So far, uh, 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 with, with robots. We've tended to have robots in one, one area and, and humans in, a, in another area because it's safer to put them in a cage. But the, then that really limits us to the number of applications and opportunities that we can, we can use robotics uh, for. So one clear UK priority is assisted living. We have a massive problem and will do particularly in the next 10 years with regard to an ageing population. So having a robotic device which can assist us, keep us in our homes with a better quality of life and living longer, could be a good thing.